So I wanted to just spend a little bit of time so we could get a little bit of an insight into Matt Stone Racing. Who are they? What do they stand for? Who is Matt? Well, I can tell you, as a racing person, they're a team I love, because for me, they represent everything that is right, correct, technical, sporting. They don't waste money on pot plants and chrome. They apply themselves to the art of motorsport. So the team has managed to grow technically, it's grown commercially, and I reckon the Gen 3 era has now really worked for this team. It's an important part of why supercars went down this route. So teams just like Matt Stone Racing, which is not Triple Eight, which is not DJR, but a real racing thoroughbred team can do exactly that. They can race cars built with specifications and parts that are available to the whole pit lane. By that, I mean they don't have to have upstairs a team of CAD designers. They don't have to have rooms full of machines and CNC machines and lazy building, research and developing. And that for me is a real win to the Gen 3 program. Yeah, I mean, certainly that's the biggest thing that um, over the last few years have made us really get excited about this new era and, and really double down in, in you know, our expansion into two cars and looking forward to it is that you no longer have to be a design powerhouse to, to go supercar racing. Obviously, there's still design elements of it, but the actual the engineering of going racing and maximising the day and maximising the, the philosophy behind how the cars run, as opposed to maximising every little widget and every little part on the car, um, that's really the area that we try to, to focus our resources on. So in getting to know Matt Stone Racing, I think we also need to get to know their drivers. You might be a little bit surprised about their backgrounds. These, both these young blokes have pedigree. So first of all, young Cameron Hill, he's new this year. Now, I've known Cam for quite some years because I like to follow the young kids coming through Formula Ford. For me, that is the category you've got to perform in. Well, Cameron's won it, and I observed him at a few races, working his own car, working on his own suspension, changing the gears in his own gearbox. I really like that. He's really qualified to work and function in a team just like this. So he went on to win the Formula Ford Championship. He's finished second in the highly competitive Toyota 86 Championship, and in 2021, he in fact won the Porsche Carrera Cup Championship. So this kid has got talent, he's got pedigree. So I really want to talk about Jack's results this year. A ninth, an eighth, a sixth, a sixth, a fifth. This guy has turned into a genuine top 10 contender and is now running ninth in our championship. Now that's pretty impressive by itself, but just have a look at the list of quality drivers behind him. I like Matt Stone. I really like Matt Stone Racing. This team represents everything I reckon our game should be. People that come up through the game, know the game, understand the game, live, eat, sleep and breathe the game, now runs a race team. And Matty's put his balls on the line. He's had to bring together the commerciality to finance this, to get this team, this 20 odd staff up and running to run two Gen 3 cars in the modern era. No mean feat. So one of the real challenges for a team like this when you're not Triple Eight or a DJR or a Walkinshaw is how do you motivate the troops? How do you motivate the drivers? How do you keep the whole thing trucking along as you grow? And to me it comes down to what's the definition of winning? Because winning for a team that's growing like this young team is can't be saying unless we won the championship we didn't win. I think you've got to redefine winning. Very much like Brad Jones Racing does and this team feels very much like almost a younger brother of a J Brad Jones Racing type organisation. Um, for us, I, you know, our goal in development as a team has always been to do one better next year than we did the year before. And I think now we're starting to sit there where we are, we can get in the five and we could get on the podium. Um, we just need to really start learning as a team how to operate in that space. Uh, and then, you know, before long, we'll be able to start ticking those boxes and, and really, really delivering the racing that we're all aspiring to do. Matt Stone, a young bloke running two cars in arguably the toughest touring car championship in the world and running one of those cars within the top 10. You know what? That's winning.